Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we're gonna to be making some starfish earrings. I absolutely love these cutters, so I really want to use them again. So I have my white Primo clay here, and I'm just gonna roll it out a bit and flatten it, just to make it easier to go through my pasta machine. And I really don't need an entire full brick, so I'm gonna cut this right in half. I always like to get it nice and thin before I put it in the pasta machine. This way it doesn't put any strain on the actual machine. So then I'm gonna run this through and condition it. All right, so once I know that it's conditioned well, I'll lay it down flat. And I rolled this out on my third thickest setting. And then I'm gonna take my large stamp here and you can see it just has a bunch of little circles and i'm going to press this right in to my clay and i'm going to have to do this twice because i do not have like the stamp itself is not large enough for two cutters and i'm going to get really deep in there and then you end up with a piece that looks like that. Okay, so let me just cut out the piece that I want. Let me see. And I want to get as many of these um, bubbles that are sticking up. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to re-roll this through my pasta machine again. All right, so now I'm just gonna put my little sticky mat down here and I'm gonna smooth out my edges. And you wanna decide how exactly you're gonna hang your earrings before you go any further. I have my mica powders and I got to decide what color do I want to do. And I already know I want to kind of do a blend. So I absolutely love my pink, always love my pink. So I'm going to do a little bit of that to start. And all you do is brush it on with a paintbrush. That's all you need to do. Very, very simple. And since I have my pieces, oops, I have this one. I want to kind of lay them right next to each other, how they're going to be hung. So that's going to be the part that they hang off of. So this way I could kind of just go back and forth and make sure that they're very similar. And... Let's add some purple. I'm gonna kind of go back and forth and just add a bunch of different colors. Make this a beautiful rainbow starfish. If you feel like your paintbrush is getting too full of mica powder of the different colors, just brush it. Okay, all right, so next, what I wanna do is take my ball tool and very carefully, I'm gonna start in the middle and then just go in a circle. And I'm gonna start opening up these circles. And I'm gonna make little divots. And don't worry about if they're perfect or not. We wanna just make them very open And then I like to kind of just press it down. All right, so now the tinier ones, use your smaller ball tool and open those up. And you don't have to get all of them. All 
All right, so the next thing we want to do is put our holes in where our um, jump rings are going to go. Uh, actually, no, I lied. We're not going to do that. We're going to do this one a little bit different. So that's what you will end up with. Now, we are going to put a back on these, but I want to bake these first. So let's bake these. Um, or should we put, yeah, let's bake them. Yeah. So let's bake these at, um, this is Primo clay. So I do 275 for a half hour and then we will return. All right. So my pieces are out of the oven. They look fabulous. Our next step is to get our clay. I rolled this out to my number four, my pasta machines around the uh, middle section. And I am going to get my transfer paper here and let me get my scissors i only want to use this section here and i will have leftover um but i'll do something else with it so that's okay all right that's big enough so now you're gonna flip it upside down and then you're gonna make sure that it's rubbed on real well and make sure it's really down onto your clay and let it sit there for I would say about three to five minutes just to really let it absorb to that clay slab that you have so now I know it's down securely and now I'm just gonna let it sit here for about three minutes and then we'll move on to the water part all right, so it's been about three minutes. My next step is I'm going to just get a bottle of water here. And then I'm going to start just spraying it on. And I'm going to make sure that I coat the whole piece here. And I'm going to let that set for a couple minutes. You could start to see that it gets like this toilet paper look. Like when your toilet paper is wet, it starts getting that um, similar look to it. And once it starts getting to that, you can start slowly taking it off, you know. But I like to let mine sit for a few minutes. Or I shouldn't even say a few minutes. Really like 30 seconds I like to let it sit for. All right, so next I'll take one of my blades. I'll start to slowly start peeling it down and you'll see it just coming right off. And I'm not digging into my clay, so don't dig into your clay. And then you'll see all that paper just comes right off. Now there's still a little bit of film on here so I'll take this, I'll lift it up, and then all I do is put it in a bowl of water and just rub my fingers across it. And then you'll feel if there's any actual like film over it or not. And once that film is off, then you'll just feel nothing but clay. This one came off pretty good, so there's not much on here. I know a lot of people say run it under the sink, but I did that a couple times and my image actually came off. So I feel more comfortable doing it this way. And now put this off to the side. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it dry. I'm not really going to push on it. I'm just going to do a light pat, get most of the water off of there and dry the underneath of it. And then let it sit there for a few minutes just to completely dry before you cut anything. This way you know that your image is 100% and it's not going to um smear or anything like that so letting it dry is really important um 
I know a lot of people will be in a hurry and they're just like, let's get it done with. But by not letting it dry, I have a hair here. You're really going to um, run the risk of destroying your piece here. So I'm going to let it dry for about a couple minutes. And then we'll start cutting and putting it on the back here. All right, so let's slice our pieces here. And I want to get as colorful as possible. So I'm really going to use these sections right here. I love these transfer papers. Look how beautiful that is. That's going to make such a fantastic back. So now I just want to take my clay adhesive. I'm going to make sure I cover my entire back here. And we got to match this up perfect. So you may have to pull it slightly. This is another reason why you want to make sure that your piece is completely dry. So you're not smearing your um, ink that's on here. All I'm doing is smoothing my piece out, making sure it's all at the edges. Everything looks good. And then you'll have this beautiful backside to your earring. All right. So now let's put these in the oven, same thing, 275, half hour, and then we will be back to finish these pieces up. All right, guys, so I took my pieces out of the oven. This is what we got. And I did end up putting my chrome marker all around the edges here. And my next step is I am going to fill this up with resin. I have a tiny little cup and you do not need a lot because these are small holes. So just put a little bit in there. And you can choose whatever color you want. I am actually going to use my silver gray. This way it all kind of combines together with the sides. And anytime you use metallic ink, make sure you shake it real well because it all kind of combines at the top or at the bottom. So you want to make sure you're shaking that up real well to get the right color and all the um, glitter and stuff like that in there. Okay, so you see now it's not stuck up there. So you know it's safe to use. And I am just going to do... Oh, this one's not even open yet. Huh, that's funny. I'm just going to do one drop. And mix that up. And then I'll do one more. Because I want this to be partially see-through as well. I don't want it to be all silver. But I want it to have some silver look to it. So I want to mix it up real well. And to have one of these sticks is perfect because then you could kind of just drip it right in there. And just take your time on this so you don't get it on the areas that you don't want your resin. Look over your piece, make sure you didn't miss anything. And then I am going to take this one right over to my light. 
and here they are. Look how great these came out. I absolutely love these. I think these are gonna be such a fun pair of summer earrings. I love the back as well. They're very colorful. I did end up putting my Sculpey Gloss Glaze on the back and the front. I just kind of avoided the resin area. Um, if you do get the glaze on there, just take your finger and wipe it like that over and it'll come right off. You'll, you'll be okay. And then I ended up just drilling a hole here. I made my own little find in and then add in my um, fish hooks. So I really hope that you enjoy creating these pieces with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.